So today we're reviewing this Shimano 200GS derailleur. This applies to a lot of the early 90s derailleurs. Pretty much anything that has a plastic knuckle, this will apply to Alta C10, Acera X, Olivio MC10. The only tools you need are some pliers, a pick, a screwdriver, an 8mm wrench, and some Allen keys. Alright, with the pulleys off, you can't service this binnacle because it's plastic, but you can service the pinnacle. And for these lower end derailleurs, it's optional. You don't have to do it. It's a little, it's pretty hard to get it back on, but it's worth it if you're planning on using this for a really long time. So just start off by removing this B limit screw bolt. And after you got that off, you want to grab your pick and pull off the clip. And this should spring out or just pull it towards you. Then tab comes off, push out the bolt, then grab your spring. All right, now everything is all taken apart and it's time to clean. For this, you can use some cleaner or degreaser. You can also use a wire brush or a pick. You could also put it in your sink, use brake cleaner, whatever you want. Just remember, if you're using brake cleaner, stay away from the plastic parts or just wipe it off really fast. And if you have rust on your cage, you can use some aluminum foil and scrub it with some water. And in my case, I'm using this ultrasonic cleaner, and all I'm using is water and dish soap. All right, now everything is all nice and cleaned down. For the chrome parts, I use this quick glow wax, and for the aluminum on the pinnacle, I use some of this Mother's. Now for the assembly, something you're gonna need is grease, and for the pulleys, I also got some SRAM butter. So if you do use an ultrasonic cleaner, this binnacle, remember, you don't can't take it apart. So some water could get in there. It usually doesn't, from my experience. But you can just grab some chain lube, put it on the end right here. All right. So first off, for the pinnacle, you want to grab your seal, make sure it's facing up like this, and then you want to grease up the inside of that pinnacle area, and then grab your spring. <laughs> One side is going to be recessed in like a tiny bit. It's really hard to tell, but this side is, if you can see. You want that side sticking up, and then get the other side and put it in the hole. Make sure it goes down all the way. And grab your bolt, and you want to put it in with a rotating motion. All right, after you got the bolt in, you want to grab your plastic seal. You want to slide that in as well. And then grab your metal retaining ring. Make sure it engages all the way, and then prepare to turn this tab all the way behind there. So the tricky part here is to grab some pliers. You want to push it down a little bit and rotate it like that. You want to make sure the bolt is all the way through, and grab your clip and slide it on. After that, make sure to screw in your B limit screw bolt. All right, and now for the pulleys, you want to get your guide pulley right here, and you want to put some grease on the inside of there, and then you're going to grab your metal bushing, you want to get some grease on the inside of that too, and slide it in. Try not to get it in this little groove here where the seals go, that's just going to attract dirt. Grab your two little washers, slide them on, you want to put some on the bolt as well, and put on your pulley. And same thing for the other one. Put on your barrel adjuster and your clamp bolt, and you have yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur. Still derailers are pretty common, but they're not that reliable because of the plastic knuckle. Either way, they're pretty good for cruising around town or just light riding. So remember, if you have an old derailleur, don't replace it, just rebuild it. Thanks to everyone who subbed, and I'll catch you in the next video.